Yes, you read that correctly. Time to try $1,400 worth of caviar. You know how much that gets you? Oh, I dropped one. This much. I've had caviar a handful of times in my life. I've been fortunate enough. Uh, it's only ever been on special occasions. I love caviar. I think it's delicious. Uh, with that said, never get to have it very often because, mm, you know, because it's like $500 for this. As a little uh, stunt slash treat, I decided, you know what? I went on Petrosian. Is that how you say it? Petrosian? Petrosian? They are a caviar distributor. And they have five classes of caviar, uh, which I will read off for you. They have Classic, Royal, Tsar Imperial, President, and Petrosian Special Reserve. I have gotten one of each. Um, the, the cheapest one that I got is $80, going up to $500. I'm sure they will all taste good, but I'm curious as to how much of a difference $420 will make between, let's say, Classic Ocetra, which I'll be starting with, and their most expensive one, Special Reserve Kaluga. I've always wanted to do this. I hope you guys, please uh, like, comment, uh, share this video, ring the bell so I can uh, uh, get some revenue back uh, to, to justify this. Now, so those of you maybe wondering, are you going to have anything with the caviar, like blinis or whatever? And no, the answer is no. If you're going to get caviar this nice, you get it straight up. And you use a mother of pearl spoon, because if you use metal spoons, it will taint the flavor of the caviar, actually. This is classic uh, Ocetra. This is $82. This rich, briny, aromatic caviar is crafted with the same time-honored techniques we brought to Paris in 1920. Uh, I'll, of course, be reading you the descriptions on the Petrosian website. Recommended for first-timers. Take a look at that. It doesn't really smell like much to me, but let's give it a taste here. Is the spoonful. It is good. If you've ever had ikura, which is um, salmon eggs, imagine that, but less salty and more briny, because ikura is very salty. It's delicious, I love it, but it's salty. It's still a little salty, but it's briny, a little buttery. It's like, it just it, these little sort of pearls will sort of like burst and melt in your mouth, kind of like Ikura does. And that's the cheap one. I mean, cheap. This is still fucking 80 bucks, but, oh, but it's, I just want it more and more and more. I'm just instinctively going for it. I'm already dazzled, but let's move on. We're moving up to royal grade. You don't need a royal title to enjoy our royal grade caviar. This grade offers potent flavors. Royal Beluga Hybrid. Uh, butter and brine come together perfectly in this beautiful hybrid blend of Beluga's warm, creamy notes and Savruga's firm beads and fresh finish. $250. $250. So, a butter knife actually just pops this out pretty easily. Ooh. They don't really smell like super fishy at all. It's a pretty new, like, it doesn't really smell like much. Look at that. Look at those pearls. Look at that. This one's much fishier. Much more assertive in your face definitely a brininess it still has that richness but it's still very assertively fishy you know the caviars i've had in the past actually were not fishy so i'm curious if this is the beluga i'm not a caviar expert by any means i think i've mainly had ocetra which ocetra tends to be a little milder i think but i mean i love i love brininess i love oysters i love uni i love fishiness so this is a welcome a welcome uh, change of pace. Next up is President Grade. The President Grade is reserved for incredible caviars that have matured beyond expectation and will easily please the discerning palates of dedicated caviar lovers. This is Ocetra President. Fresh, 
fruity, and utterly delectable, our Ocetra President Caviar is defined by a nutty flavor and firm, juicy grains. Sounds good to me, dog. Fucking caviar keys. Just use a butter knife, you rich bitches. This says more like a, almost like a gold, gold hue. Also, this is $250 as well. They, these do have more flavor. Slightly sweeter, um, a little fishier, but with that said, do I think there's a huge difference between um, 80 and 250? Mm. Oh, it is better. It is definitely better, because that, that, that flavor and the richness and the butteriness is stronger like there's a there is a clear difference it's hard to say if it's worth 170 dollars more though it's good though it's it's quite good czar imperial beluga hybrid caviar in the days of the czars the nobility would hoard the finest caviar from across the empire only elite batches with firm texture and complex flavor make this grade and this is $312. This miraculous hybrid caviar pairs the rich buttery gush of beluga caviar with the clean fresh finish of savruga. Okay, immediately fishier. There's a, there is a difference, but it's subtle. I think this is more flavorful. The star is more flavorful. Still has that so kind of assertive brininess. If you like briny, then the, clearly the beluga, beluga stuff is like the way to go. And the Czar Imperial Beluga definitely has a stronger flavor. I don't think there's that huge of a difference though. Like if I'm just, you know, my, my plebe ass, you know, caviar newbie taste buds, do I think it's worth spending $60 more? No, I don't think so. No, but it's good. And finally, Special Reserve Kaluga. This is the $500 one. Petrosian Special Reserve, enjoyed by royalty, heads of state, and those who demand the very best. Petrosian Special Reserve represents the pinnacle of taste and texture, sheer perfection. Special Reserve Kaluga Huso Hybrid. This is as good as good as it gets, unimaginably rich and buttery. This caviar was hand selected by the Petrosian family. Okay. Back to sort of like the gold colored pearls here. $500, baby. Yeah, um, hmm. Okay. Extremely rich. I think probably the smoothest pearls. It just goes down easy. It's got a buttery, not as fishy as the belugas. Definitely more comparable to the Ocetras. And I don't even know, I'm not an expert on these fish. In fact, I want to learn about this. What, what the fuck's a Kaluga? Kaluga, Savruga. So, at the end of the day, is caviar worth your time? I cannot justify condoning $500. As good as this is, it's just too much for this for me. Like, I, I am I'm not a billionaire who can just uh, 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 justify this as a regular purchase. This is a very extravagant purchase for me. $500 for this much caviar is um, it's a lot of money. Now, if you are interested in trying caviar, if you've never had it, $80 is actually, I think, worth Oh, that's hard to say because it's not really worth it, is it? It's such small. It's just such a small amount. If you're like, you know, this won't break my bank entirely, 
I've always wanted to try what caviar tastes like. The $80 tin, I think is worth it for like a very, like treat yourself sort of thing. It's good, it is good quality. If you taste this, you will know if you like caviar. And if you don't, then you won't waste your money, right? I mean, you'll have you wasted your money on the $80 tin, but then you'll know for the future. It's worth a, you know what? I'll try it once. I'll try it once, and if I, if I hate it, whatever, that sucks, but... And listen, I'm sure there are cheaper ones than this that you can try, but... Having tried this, the classic Ocetra, which... Ocetra is my favorite type. I love Ocetra. It has a more buttery notes to it than the fishy. It's worth trying once in your life, I think. A good, a good solid caviar. Going back to the 250 ones, these beluga ones, these beluga hybrids, taste, I think, more what people think caviar tastes like. Um, in a good way. Um, but they're very fishy. If you don't like fishy, I don't, you will not like the beluga ones. But what's not, what I like about this is it does have a very different flavor than the Ocetra. So good. What you find though is as as you get ex more expensive caviar, it's less with Ocetra anyway, less fishy, more rich, uh, and the and the pearls are smoother, much creamier. It's a creamier texture. Do I think it's worth spending one hundred and seventy dollars more to get this over regular caviar? Mmm. Ugh. I do think it's really good. If it's like a special occasion, a very special occasion. It is very good. I do think it is better than the classic. It's, you know, some may argue, no, it's it's not that much better, but... But it is. Going up to the, uh, back to the Imperial Beluga Sar Hybrid. Again, very, very good. Yeah, the more expensive you get, the more the flavor lingers and really just is memorable. But comparing that to the 250, the problem is it is better. It does taste better. But $60 worth more? Oh, I don't know if I can say that's worth it. Let's move on. Finally back to the most expensive, the Kaluga. It really is phenomenal. Oh, man. Oh, man. Here's where I think I'm going to end off on. This is an exorbitant, you know, luxury. It, it really is. If you absolutely have never had it, please do not rush out and get the most expensive one, although it's really good. The classic Ocetra will do. It's 80 bucks, which is still a lot, but it'll be enough to know, hey, is it worth it to me to try more expensive caviars in this? If, if you like it, then yeah, you might want to venture up, right? Uh, the $200 range, which is a lot, but that's what I'm used to spending. Like whenever I've gone to like a fancy ass restaurant and they ask for caviar, it's usually in that in that range. So it's not so crazy to me as like, oh, it's my birthday. Like, yeah, I'll treat myself. But it's a lot. It's a lot. Ocetra, if you want more buttery instead of fishy, Ocetra was my, which is my favorite. Um, if you want more fishy, Beluga. Um, and then. Going up to the more expensive stuff, is the, is the Special Reserve Kaluga really as good as $500? It is definitively the best one. I mean, it, it's, it, it is really good, but will I ever get this again? No, I, unfortunately, I cannot. I can, I, I'm not in the position where I can spend $500 on this and that's totally like something I can do. But it was really great to try once. That was $1,400 worth of caviar. Uh, I hope this was interesting to some of you. Uh, I had a great time. I just got to eat a bunch of caviar. Uh, and yeah, if there are any other foods you guys would like to see me try, um, just, you know, it can be any kinds of food, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, so fucking good.